We've all experienced being sick, whether it was the flu, a cold, or something more serious like pneumonia or even COVID-19. All are unpleasant and without a diagnosis from a doctor, very hard to differentiate from one another. The good news is there are ways we can help prevent ourselves and others from getting sick. Let's start by covering some basic facts about each of these illnesses, starting with the flu. The flu is the common term for an infection caused by influenza viruses A and B. It usually occurs during the late fall and winter, but you could get sick with the flu during any season. It's not the same as the common cold, as symptoms are usually worse and last longer. Pneumonia is a lung infection caused by breathing in germs, usually a virus or a bacteria. Having a long-term or chronic disease like asthma, emphysema, heart disease, cancer, or diabetes can make you more susceptible to getting sick with pneumonia. COVID-19 is caused by SARS-CoV-2, a type of coronavirus. Although SARS-CoV-2 is fairly new, coronaviruses have been around for years. We are still learning about SARS-CoV-2 and its short and long-term side effects. The common cold is an infection caused by a virus called rhinovirus. Common colds can cause runny noses and sneezing. While the common cold is fairly mild, it's important to know that the flu, pneumonia, and COVID-19 can all be very serious and life-threatening illnesses if not treated. Many of the illnesses we've discussed have similar symptoms. Fever, chills, body aches, and cough can all be symptoms of the flu, pneumonia, and COVID-19. It's no wonder our heads can feel like they're spinning when trying to figure out what we might have. That's why it's important to talk to your doctor so they can give you the right diagnosis and treatment. There are, however, some key distinctions between the illnesses. The flu, for example, can cause a fever, dry cough, and pretty severe muscle aches and headaches. It also tends to come on suddenly. Pneumonia is restricted to the lungs. It too can cause a fever, but also shortness of breath and a cough that can produce beige, yellow, or green phlegm. Similar to the flu, with COVID-19, most people experience a dry cough, aches, fever, and fatigue. But COVID-19 patients can also lose their sense of taste and smell. With the common cold, the key difference is that sneezing and a runny nose are the main symptoms. These are not usually associated with the other illnesses. The symptoms and severity of these illnesses can vary depending on your age and health condition. If you think you are experiencing COVID-19, pneumonia, or flu-like symptoms like the ones we just talked about, call your doctor and schedule an appointment right away. When you visit a doctor with these symptoms, they will probably test you for both the flu and COVID-19 and give you a physical exam. With a pneumonia evaluation, you might receive a chest X-ray. Many COVID-19 patients will receive a chest X-ray too, and in some cases, your doctor might even order a CAT scan. Other tests like blood work may be given if your symptoms worsen or if you have other health problems. Remember, the flu, pneumonia, COVID-19, and colds are all contagious. Knowing the signs and symptoms will help you get the treatment you need before the illness gets worse or you spread it to others. Prevention is the best way to help keep ourselves safe. You can still do most of the things you enjoy. The key is to be smart, safe, and mindful and follow a few easy steps to help prevent getting and spreading germs. Get in the habit of washing your hands often. Use warm water and soap and scrub for at least 20 seconds, making sure to get in between your fingers and up past your wrists. If soap and water isn't available, use hand sanitizer. Another is to practice social distancing with at least six feet between you and others, not in your immediate family. If you need to cough or sneeze, do so into a tissue or your elbow and try your best to stay away from people you know are sick. When going out, wear a mask. You can infect others even if you aren't feeling sick. Finally, the best way to prevent getting sick is to get vaccinated. The flu, 
COVID-19 and pneumonia vaccinations can help prevent you from getting these illnesses and some of their more serious complications. They can also help minimize symptoms if you do become infected and may prevent you from having to go to the hospital. Flu shots should be administered every year, usually in the fall. For pneumonia, the Centers for Disease Control recommends two shots. And for COVID-19, more than one vaccine has been manufactured. Your doctor can help clarify how often they should be given based on which one you receive. Though any shot can cause mild side effects such as redness or pain around the injection site, experiencing serious side effects of vaccinations is rare. It's important to talk with your doctor about your flu and pneumonia shot history and to make sure you are up to date with all of your vaccinations. Keeping a log of your vaccinations can be helpful. Remember, vaccines are your best source of protection. Thank you for your time. We hope this information was helpful and that you have a better understanding of these different illnesses and how you can help keep yourself healthy. Please visit SignaHealthierTogether.com for more videos in our Healthier Together series.